place is pretty much a villa. That's the top of it. And there's a cliff right behind us. side right along the mountain guys heading to breakfast It's totally different in the daytime. It's awesome, the beauty of Mother Nature. Modern science tries to understand Mother Nature, but Mother Nature don't lie. Saltwater heals. There was a famous fighter by the name of Manny Pacquiao, and he had an injured shoulder during the Floyd Mayweather-Manny Pacquiao fight. And after the fight, he went in salt water like the ocean and swam, and it, like, it, he said it healed his shoulder. I do not doubt it. I used to take salt baths. I used to buy like magnesium sulfate from Costco or Whole Foods, buy the bulk and just soak in a hot bath. But it's better to do it in the ocean. Think of it. No matter what amount of salt you can buy from the store will not computate to the magnitude of the magnificent ocean. And different oceans have more salt water than others. You can study it. So you want to make sure that you travel around the world and get different salt water on you. The sun hits your skin different depending upon where you stand in the universe, and such as time. Time is dependent upon where a person stands in the universe, according to physics. So there's no real absolute called time. It's just a perception of humans. But perception is reality. But nonetheless, different soils from different parts of the world would have an effect on your body because you think of it that plant is getting its nutrient from the soil in that local area and that's getting into your gut microbiome think of what soil is soot soil dirt decayed matter fossil fuels stone dust history ashes to ashes dust to dust it's like we are ingesting in history and life from mother earth the source of where we come from. It's like we need to eat the dirt, but it comes in the form of a fruit, or the fruit takes the energy from the soil. And when the sun hits the soil, it changes its chemical compound. So when the certain oceans from the world touch the soil, again, it's different. And the soil can filter the ocean water into clean water. It's quite interesting. You know, this world is a compository of 
a myriad of stardust from all around the corners of the universe. And as far as our telescopes can see, we're the only intelligent life. We could see pretty far, but that's relative. Maybe if we saw further, we would see more life. But nonetheless, as far as what we can comprehend as there's no intelligent life around, no sign of it. It's pretty far if you compare it to the Earth. Now, why, out of all places, is Earth the only place of such diversity? We send probes to Mars and moons, and we don't see anything close to the diversity in Earth. So it's definitely something special about it. But it's as if the whole cosmos exists in Earth. If you're not a fan of the Bible or even religion or the Abrahamic beliefs, you might go that atheist route and think that you're just going to outrule the idea of God. Okay, that's fair. You can do that if you want. It's your choice. But isn't it interesting how we've yet to understand anything that comes close to the Earth? Like why? Even just if we were to compare all of our planets, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and what else is there? Pluto, Venus, they're nothing like the Earth. It's like the Earth has evolved into a hospitable place. Before it was not hospitable. So it's like, are we the most evolved species and the most evolved planet? That's so. Then we could be the oldest in the sense. That's one argument. Or you could say, the other planets just don't have the diversity. That's more accurate. Because they don't. It's just luck. Like if Lady Luck were to be a reality, we're the living proof. And so it's just a miracle life. Whether you are a atheist, which is a terrible way of thinking, or a believer like myself, we have to come at grips with life and enjoy it, appreciate it. If you're living in America, the first world country, life is good. Even amongst the developing worlds, developing nations, it's still good. If you have internet, air conditioning, and refrigerator, you're good, man. It's no wars. If you have a court system, a legal system, then you're good. Really nothing to complain about. Complain is like a choice. Do we want to complain about our lives? I have a client and she has three daughters. She's being sued by creditors. I'm helping her out a great deal. And she needs she needs it. But she's a warrior. She knows who she is. If you're watching this, you know who you are. And uh hang in there. Hang in there. Get some sunlight. Just know that if you want something in life, you can get it. You can achieve it. You have to. I remember when I was homeless, I was running, running. I didn't really want to stay at my house because my roommates were terrible. And I remember running, and I was like thinking to myself, I'm never going to be a broke bum. I'm going to at least own a house. I'm going to at least have some money in the bank because I didn't. Anything past that wasn't really, really a reality for me, how I grew up, how dysfunctional my family was and the catastrophe that happened. So it's a miracle. But you have to dream. You have to have a dream. Don't let anyone bury your dream, no matter how hard it is. That's step number one. If your situation is tough and you're projecting on others, it's really unlikely that you're going to be successful so if you can just understand that part and understand that that is a key component of success keep that treat others nice no matter what there's someone that's going to help you and they're going to help you through god right now i know it's not good to be needy and dependent but we are to each other and god we're dependent upon god Without God, what are we? We're like a speck of dust in the universe. An asteroid could hit us and we're gone. So we have to be thankful. We have to tip our hat. We have to salutate and supplicate and give praise. Give praise for this life that we have. And when you connect with the source, it's just you, yourself. You internalize everything. Don't worry about anyone else, the exterior. And align yourself, that direct connection.
in Islamic called Sirat al-Mustaqim. It's the alignment with you and the divine. Don't let anyone interrupt that cord, that um, invisible umbilical cord between you and your creator God. No one can judge you. No one, no man, no woman, no one alive can intervene, interfere, or intercess between you and God. That's the Shahada of Islam. An Arabic word means the declaration that of, of you know the reality. You know what's real. The reality is there's a God and you're his creation. That's the first step. I think Christians, Jews, everyone, a lot of people can believe that. So, once you believe that, you know who to talk to. You know the man upstairs can change everything. But he's going to put you through some tests. And you're going to have to overcome them. These tests are for you. They're for no one else. And in the in the uh, in the game of life, there's no cheating. It's not like you can copy up someone else's test results and then you get you fail the test. No, these tests you don't need to cheat. These tests are for you and you alone. But when you consent with God and turn to God for answers with a, with a sincere heart, you have to have a sincere heart. In Islam, we call it ikhlas. It means sincerity. Have a class, sincerity, reach out to God. Don't tell anyone about it. It's you and God. You don't have to say that you're a Muslim, a Christian, or Jew, or Buddha. It's like, it doesn't, it's no label on it. It's just God and you. You could say the source. These are just words. We're humans. We use language to communicate, but God is above these words. We need words. God doesn't need words. That's what we humans forget. We need God's, we need to pray we need God's prayer. God doesn't need our prayer. Get it? God doesn't need us to worship Him. We need God. And we need to worship Him because He has power that we need access to in order to live the fulfilled life that we do. And the miracle is when you tap into this technology and you betterize yourself, things come in your way. Things come. It's like the earth. It's like what I told you guys before. Different stones, different pieces of stardust from different corners of the universe all engulf themselves into this little magnosphere, into this earth. It's like we didn't have to scour the universe. The universe came to us. You see these asteroids coming and falling on the earth? It's like that. And the moon is there to protect us, that negative energy. The moon intercepts different harmful stuff because it's the first gravitational pull in the proximity of the earth such as the protector in our lives, such as God. That was put there for a reason. Do not do you think not? Right. Everything happens for a reason. If it didn't, then you definitely got to say we're lucky and you have to be more happy. Like, wow, we're so lucky and blessed. Yes, it's pretty stable here in this atmosphere. Outside of it, outside of the Goldilocks, as a scientific term, is really, really dangerous. So connect with God. Connect with God. That is the magic. There is a lifeline. There is a hack. And there is magic. And it is God, I'm telling you. You don't have anything else to, to try. It's all failed you. Because it's not meant for you. Those are lessons. Now that all those things didn't work out, now you know what you need to do. And just turn to God. Look at this awesome view, guys. Let's see a little more. Awesome view. It's great when you 
pretty much can experience what you want to experience in life. When you have the money, you can go anywhere in the world and get anything you want. Anything you can imagine. Don't stop being mediocre. Strive. Strive to get more. Get more. But first, focus on the person in the mirror. This is a beautiful experience to me. The scenery right here was practically what I wanted. I wanted something. It was my dream to sit underneath a tree by the ocean, but I didn't expect it to be like this. And that's, a, that's the power of belief and faith and turning to God. You want this, but God will bring you this. Whatever you are imagining, whatever you can dream is infinitesimally small to what God can bring for you. God can bring you something so much bigger and then something bigger than that. Our brains cannot comprehend it. Our little brains. So it's best to have faith in a big heart and give God Give God your heart, give God your soul, and have faith in action, and be smart, and you will be successful. Whatever it is you're going through, you will get through it. We're all in this together. I am going through things just like you. It doesn't matter. We're all going through some form of loss, some form of struggle, but it does end a little bit yes it does get better it does get better so keep pushing hard this is happiness for me mother nature mother nature a balcony of a mansion right on the beach. Everything is possible and will come true. You will get everything that you want out of this life. 